welcome to ITW, the show that's going to help you incorporate technology into the classroom. Arby Harrison, we have a special guest with us. We have Jen Siraki here. Thank you for joining us. She's actually been on the show before. Now she's back again. Now she's back hosting with us. She's moving up in the world. Yes, yes. So lucky. Yes. Very happy to have you, Jen. We're so happy to have you on, on the show, especially for this particular topic. Yeah, I'm super excited. Today we're going to talk about Google Hangouts and some really cool ways that you can incorporate it in your classroom. So, for example, one particular way might be kind of teacher collaboration. It's a virtual video conferencing tool. So, you can collaborate with teachers within your building, maybe virtually for some planning sessions. Maybe you can even conference or collaborate with teachers in other districts or outside the school. Right. So, and, and kind of running along that, that, those same lines is you could do a class to class thing. So, if you wanted to communicate with other people uh, in your school or other classrooms in your school, you could have a conversation via Google Hangout, but you could also expand that and you can go even outside your school to some maybe other school in the district maybe even other schools um, in, in the state uh, maybe even beyond that we've had um, schools in here it's actually right here in PLC do Google Hangouts with other classrooms uh, outside the country so there's lots of possibilities for a class to class communication yeah that's huge break down those classroom walls mm -hmm. so another opportunity is for office hours I know my department with personalized learning we do mm -hmm. office hours and so if you kind of want to just touch base with a specialist or I have a quick question you can quick send a message or video call them very very easily right I know if I was a teacher I would love this to have that quick chat just send a, a, a quick conversation with someone that's nice you can also have experts in your classroom. You can have people from the community, uh, people from, from out of local businesses, um, or from, from whatever. You can have them. It doesn't have to be local. You can have someone um, from um, a, a, another company. Um, I know, we, you know you mentioned before that we've had people from um, different coding companies. Yes. Before. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Our tech facilitator had the creators of a coding app conference in and share and they got feedback from the students to better their product so it was actually really really cool all, all possible through through google hangout having that conversation that, that that's not something that would have been possible a few years ago when, you, when we didn't have this so now google hangout brings that capability yeah. to the classroom Fantastic. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, the other opportunity could also be if you're having trouble getting parents into your classroom even right. yes maybe just a virtual video call um mm -hmm. could you could share your screen with them and, and talk about the progress that way so that if they can't physically be there with you due to work schedules or a conflicts of sorts, they can interact with you that way. Right, right. And so now that they have some of the possibilities of where, the ways you can use Google Classroom, now we want to show you how to use Google Classroom. So we're going to kind of walk you through some of the steps of setting up these voice calls. All right, to begin your Google Hangouts, what you want to do is you're going to go to hangouts.google.com. Um, and that'll bring you to this site. You want to make sure that you are signed in with your CMS Google Apps for Education account. Um, and once you're signed in and you're at uh, hangouts.google.com, you'll see a screen that looks something like this. You see my name is, is, is already shown here. Um, and then we're just going to walk you through a few of the components of Hangouts. Um, over here, first you'll see um, the contacts. So this will, this will show me um, some of the contacts that I have pinned um, here in Hangouts. So when I hit this little three buttons here, you see I have the ability to pin and unpin people uh, from my, my Google Hangouts. I can even start a video call right from here if I wanted to do so. Um, if I click on a person, it does open up a, a conversation chat right here within Hangouts. I can scroll through here and see what conversation you see. Jen and I have been having a little fun here. Uh, we added some pictures, some videos. There's all different kinds of media um, that you can include as a part of your chat. So um, this is just one place where you can begin uh, communicating with the other person. Um, now there are other op options here as well where you can also add uh, people to the conversation, right Jen? Yeah, absolutely. So right here you can actually start a group call. So this person with the plus sign, you can create a group hangout. And when I click that, I can actually check people that are currently in my pin list, or I can search for other people to add and check them as well. Once you add the new people, you click add so you can start your hangout. Also in that video call screen is just start a video call directly. So Aubrey can start a video call directly with me right from this icon as well. Or we can click down here and actually send a message. So I can just type. Directly to Aubrey or let him know that I'm going to get ready to video call him. So these are kind of the direct video call features. Another um, component off to the left here underneath contacts is conversations so this will bring up any of your historical conversations that you've had with other contacts 
So whether it was a video call, it was a message, this is kind of your historical running list of all communications that you've had. So now um, we're, Jen and I are going to demonstrate how to do a video call so you can see how you can have a video conversation. So I am going to contact Jen and we are going to have a video call. I'm just going to call Jen, look for her. And soon I should see that smiling face of Jen. There she is. Hey Jen, how you doing? Great. So we're just demonstrating um, to uh, all the viewers on how you can utilize this and, and, and how this works from the video call um, aspect. So you see currently Jen and I are having a conversation. We would be able to uh, converse with one another and share what information that we needed to. But if you wanted to, we could invite other people as well. I could go up here into the invite people section. I can click on this and now I can add additional people into this hangout so that they could be a part of the conversation. All I would need to do is just go in here and type in um, the names of the people that are in our district. I could be able to click on them and we would be able to go from there with the, and have a conversation. So um, that's just a real simple way where you can start adding people. You can add, you can have up to 10 people into in a conversation. Um, so that, that, that that's something that, that that's nice to do that where you can have multiple people involved. Um, but the other thing that I wanted to show you is the screen sharing. This is something that's really neat, something that I really like that and I feel that like teachers can take a big advantage of. So with the screen sharing, you have this green button over here. And once I select that, I can I now have the option to click, I'm gonna select my entire screen, but you have options in terms of what you can share with, with the other people involved in the voice call, um, or in the video call, excuse me. Um, I'm gonna click the entire screen, hit share, and then the screen banner is gonna show up here. I'm gonna hit present to everyone, and now everyone uh, who is on the call will be able to see my screen. So now, uh, when I click on something, um, Jen will be able to see uh, what I'm seeing on my screen. So if I wanted to demonstrate something, if I wanted to show her what I'm seeing and let her see what problems I'm having, she'll be able to do so uh, with the with the Hangout. So the screen sharing is something that I think is really neat. And when I wanna stop sharing with, with, with Jen, I can just hit this stop button right here. And now we're back to um, seeing each other and having a conversation. Awesome. And yeah. Yeah, and another feature is if you're in a group or a Google Hangout with multiple people, you might see them scrolled on the bottom here. So I'm here, Aubrey's here, there might be additional people in this Hangout. At that point in time, you can decide who's the main presenter. I mean, this could really be a good thing in, in planning sessions or multi-collaborative functions where you would just click on, if I click on Aubrey right here, and I click present to everyone, now Aubrey is the main person on the on the call in the big screen where if you switch out then you've got any other presenters go down kind of in the in the bottom right here so you can kind of take turns being a lead role in a google hangout as well and there's a lot of things that, that you can do within within the google hangouts jen and i discussed this uh at the beginning of the video video but uh these are just some some simple ways uh from uh, a mechanical standpoint on how you can navigate through google hangouts so you can use them in your classroom all right, Aubrey's not going to let me get out of this episode. I'm going to be in this episode. I don't care what he's got to say. He doesn't even know if this is a Google Classroom episode or Google Hangouts. He can't even get it correct. Guys, I appreciate you watching Google Hangouts. Hopefully, I've got a lot of great information on how you can actually incorporate it into your classroom. Once again, make sure that you uh, check out our blog. We have actually have a guest blog today, and I'm extremely excited about this. This is William Bodie. He's a North Carolina Physical Education Teacher of the Year. So make sure you guys check out his blog. Also, vote for an Innovative Teacher of the Month. We have a lot of great responses to that, so make sure you guys do that. Thanks again for tuning in. Check us out on Twitter. Our handle is at CMS the Court, or shoot us an email. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys check us out next week for another edition of ITW.